Hello, this is Chinu O from Me Learn to Share, and in today's video, we are going to discuss about the second unit, supply and demand, and we will discuss two chapters about it. All right, first of all, let's talk about demand. The definition of demand is the consumer's desire to purchase at a certain price, and the demand graph is sloped downwards, which means if the price increases, the quantity decreases. And now there are two terms written here, the demand and the quantity demand. So actually, what is the difference between those two? Let's check it out. Uh, the quantity demand refers to a certain quantity that consumers are willing to purchase at a certain price. So this point, this point, this point, or this point are all examples of quantity demanded. Um, on the other hand, the demand is referring to this graph as a whole. The simple quantity demanded are the points, and the demand is a line. The law of demand says uh, is basically a law of economics, which says that if the price increases, the quantity demanded decreases, while if the price decreases, the quantity demand increases. And we are going to discuss about this a little more in this next slide. There are three reasons why law of demand happens. The first one is the substitution effect, which means that people are likely to buy other substitutes if the price of a, a certain good increases. For example, um, let's say I can choose between a hamburger or a hot dog. And if the price of a hamburger increases, then maybe I can just choose to purchase more hot dogs but less hamburgers. And this is why the first, uh, this is one reason of why the quantity demand decreases when the price increases because people substitute their demand into other goods. The second reason is the income effect and it talks that the purchasing power of people will decrease if the price goes up. So let's say I have a, a hundred dollars and the price of a hot dog used to be $10, which means that I have, I could purchase at max 10 hot dogs, but now the price of hot dogs increased to $20 and now I can only purchase five of it. So in this case, uh, my purchasing power has decreased, which means that I have to, I can purchase less quantities than what I used to before. The third reason, diminishing marginal utility uh, is a concept that I am pretty sure we have already discussed. People are the satisfaction of people, the utility of people usually decreased as they purchase additional, an additional unit of a certain good. And those were the three reasons why law of demand happens. And let's look at the determinants of demand. Um, but this is a very confusing term. People usually, um, yep, people usually uh, make things wrong. They think quantity demanded and demanded are, demand are the same. But actually a change in quantity demanded and change in demand is very different. Uh, the price, the quantity, labeling the graph is very important, but anyways, when we refer to a change in quantity demand, it usually happens when the price changes. So if you use to purchase at this point, since the price was at here, and suddenly the price goes down to here, and then now we will purchase more. So we will, we will increase our quantity of, of purchasing. So in this case, this is a change in quantity demanded. Um, however, a change in demand refers to a situation in which the graph itself shifts. Um, so if a demand curve shifts to the right, it is an increase in demand. And if the demand curve shifts to the left, it is a decrease in demand. And let's just check the five determinants of demand. The first one is income. And there are two types of goods. The first one is normal goods. The second one is inferior goods. Um, and if our income increases, normal goods, which are most of the goods that we use, the demand of normal goods will also increase. While the demand of inferior goods, which are certain products such as um, canned food, instant noodles, margarine, and more, the demand of those will decrease since we are now better off, we have more money to purchase better products than those inferior goods. The second determinant is the price of related goods. And there are two types of related goods. The first one is a substitute, for example, hamburgers and hot dogs. So 
a good that we can substitute into another. And the second one is complements, which enhance the quality or the satisfaction of other, the other good. For example, hamburgers and cola. So if the price of the substitute increases, then the demand of the initial good will also increase. However, if the price of the complement increases, the price of the initial good, no, 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 the, quant the demand of the initial good will decrease. The third factor is taste, and this is uh, very simple. If people want more, if people's preferences move toward a certain product, it is likely that the demand will increase. The fourth factor is the number of consumers. If the number of consumers increase, the demand increases, while if the number of consumers decrease, the number decrease. The demand decreases. The fifth one is future expectations about price. Um, let's say we are expecting a price of a certain product to increase the next week. Then how will the demand right now change? It is likely that the demand will increase since now is the opportunity to purchase the certain product cheaper than what it used to do. So if the future expectations of a price are that the price will go up, then the demand right now will increase. While if we expect the prices to go down, the demand right now will decrease. And let's take a look at supply now. The supply is the producers or producers desire to sell at a certain price. And the supply curve is usually upward sloping. And there are also differences between supply and quantity supply. This quantity supply refers to a certain point a certain amount of quantity that we are willing to uh, sell at a certain price, while the supply talks about this graph as well. And the law of supply is also very similar to the law of demand. It means that if the price increases, the quantity supplied increases, while if the price decreases, the quantity supplied also decreases. And there are also determinants of supply. As we talked about it before, the only determinant in change in quantity supply is price. Well, there are five factors which can shift the supply curve either to the right side, which means the supply has increased, or to the left side, which means the supply has decreased. The first factor is input prices. If usually, if input prices increase, the supply decreases since they have to pay more and more to produce a certain product. On the other hand, if the technology of producing a certain bit enhances, it is likely that the supply will also increase. Um, third, if the number of sellers increase, the supply will increase. If the number of sellers decrease, the supply will also shift to the left. The fourth one is a little tricky, taxes and subsidies. Taxes are basically what the government takes from a certain industry or firm, and subsidies are what the government or a government gives to a certain industry or firm. So if government decides to um, gain additional taxes from a certain industry, the supply will decrease. While if government decides to subsidize a certain industry or a firm, the supply will increase. The fifth factor is future expectations about price. And this is the opposite as demand. If we expect the price to increase or go up at the future, it is likely that the supply right now will decrease since they can sell at a higher price maybe next week or next month or whatever. On the other hand, the future expectations of price are uh, suggest that the price will go down. The supply right now will increase since it means that we can, uh, we can sell at a higher price right now or never. So um, to summarize today, we today we discussed about the, the demand and supply. And let's see in two weeks. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and please feel free to leave comments about certain certain questions. And maybe you can please suggest suggest some improvements that like that I can make to this video. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.